There are a huge number of changes going on at the moment over at Beehive. They have their new pricing as well as their new web builder. We've been through these in our last two videos. So if you want to check those out, go and check out those videos after this one. But in this video series that's going out over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be answering the question, should I pay for Beehive? Do you want to stick with the free plan? Or should you start paying based on the fact they've got this new pricing and they've moved things around in their different tiers. Now, Beehive is not great for all different styles of newsletters. So again, we're going to be helping you answer that question to decide if you want to just sort of test your newsletter out with the free version and then you want to go in different software or if you want to just stick with the free. We're going to look at the AI to start with. That's going to be the first two videos in this series. We're going to do AI copywriting tool today and then their AI image generator in the next video. We also have a free giveaway going on and our waitlist is open. We have our own newsletter tool that we're bringing out. So if you want to get on the waitlist for that, just go down into the description, click the link. And there's also a link to our giveaway that we're running during this series because in order to be able to show you all the features that Beehive has, all of these different features here that you need to pay for, I need to, the easiest thing for me to do is to create a newsletter from scratch, but I do not have the time to run another newsletter. So we're going to give it away at the end of this series, as well as some coaching and some um, other resources in order for you to get started straight away. If you want to get involved in that, uh, then like I said, use the link in the description and you can enter. So as you can see here, we've got the scale plan. $34 per month is the cheapest it's going to cost you. Just be aware that as your number of subscribers goes up, the price here does change. So do keep an eye on that as well as if you're going to pay monthly or yearly. But as I said, it is the Beehive AI that we're going to go through first. So you can decide if it is the best thing for you. So what you're going to do is you go into the editor, as you can see, we get these buttons here. You've got two options when you're in the editor. You can hit the plus button, that will get you the full menu, or you can just hit the backslash and that will come up with the full menu as well. You'll also notice we've got this other button here. This is for use once you've actually created a bit of content. So when you've got, say, a title, um, you've got some um, a paragraph or something like that, and you want to do a little bit more editing on it, then you can do uh, that this button here as well you can leave comments so for example if you're outsourcing you've got a VA or somebody or you're going through an editing process with somebody else you can leave comments for them to um, improve or uh, make changes and you can add in um, anchors and change the color of text and all that kind of stuff so as I said we're going to use the AI so if I press the button here this is everything up here is what you're going to get in the free account It's the premium features down here that you need to pay for. We're going to click on this one, which is the AI writer. The first thing I want to draw your attention to is this up here. And you can see that you have only a certain number of requests per month. So every time your monthly, um, going to your next monthly billing cycle, then you will refresh your 100 credits. I should say as well, we have a link to Beehive if you want to get it um, down in the description. If you want to click that and have a go yourself on their free trial. What we put in the prompt then is incredibly important. We want the prompt to give us as much uh, information as possible because you're paying per prompt, not by word count or output like that. Before we put anything in, we have these settings buttons down here. So we've got text options, so we can decide exactly how much we want from the prompt. So if you've got a specific number of words you want it to produce or a number of paragraphs, and again, if you increase this up, it's gonna make your AI prompts go a little bit further. You can also generate a heading with what your uh, with your output. So, for example, if I want to write a paragraph on a particular topic, which is what we're going to be doing in order to create this newsletter that we're going to be doing, uh, giving away, then I can hit generate heading, and then it will make sure that every paragraph comes with a heading. The other options that I have here is I can change the language. Um, I'll just show you the language you've got. So, if you that is useful to your newsletter. And then you've got tone of voice as well. So if you want to change the tone, then you can do that. Okay. So you're going to put in your prompt. This works just like ChatGPT. So you can ask it for titles. You can ask it for bullet points. You can ask it for paragraphs. And it will create the output for you. Now, my personal view on this is this is not the greatest at producing content. 
Um, we use different tools. If you want to see the tools we use to write entire newsletters for our clients, I'll leave a video down in the description and you can check out that video and that tool and see if you're interested in it. But what I'm going to do now is I'll put a few prompts in so you can see exactly how this works. Okay, so we're going to start off our newsletter. Here we've got the title, uh, ideas that I'm looking for, and we're going for how technology can monitor glucose regulation. So the newsletter we're going to be creating this is an idea of how we can use technology within health. So we're combining those two niches, and in this particular article we're talking about glucose regulation. Loads of new tech coming out that will help people do that. And straight away you can see we've got some titles here. Now you cannot enter, uh, sorry, edit what's in the preview here, which is one of the things I don't like. You can discard, but then you've wasted one of your AI prompts. You can insert, which will put it straight into your content, or you can regenerate, which again is going to cost you. So I'm going to insert. And the other thing I don't like about this is it comes with the numbers and it comes with the quotation marks. So if I do pick one of these, so for example, if I'm going to go for the top one here, then I am going to have to go through the whole editing process in order to get that edited. So I'm not a massive fan of that. I know it's not a huge amount of time, but when you have better tools out there that you don't have to do that kind of thing with, it does save you time in using those different tools. So I've got my title here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in to the AI. Um, and I am going to uh, load it up and let's see if we can write um, an introduction. So back to the AI writer, and this is something else I don't like about the AI. Every time you want to use it, you've got to reopen it, which if you're making a whole newsletter is quite long-winded. If they had some kind of taskbar stuck at the side, which some of the other AI copywriting softwares have, then that would make it much easier. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get it to uh, give me a paragraph. So that's my inter introductory paragraph written. Again, I need to go through and pick my tone. So you have to do that every single time. And then I'm just going to go through and generate, and that will give me my paragraph. And then I can insert it, and then I can go through and edit it. The other thing I don't like about this very much is it's very chunky. You get a lot of uh, text together, whereas when you use other AI tools, they will put it into separate paragraphs for you. So once we've done a bit of writing, the other thing we can do, and this is actually how I use the AI more, is I'll go into another tool, write my newsletter, import it in, and then I, what I will do is if there's any parts I want to expand on, or I want to change, I can highlight them. I get this part here for editing, but you'll notice this button down here, and what I can do there is access the AI again, and I can fix spelling and grammar if I want to. I can complete the sentence with AI or I can improve the writing. So I can shorten, extend or simplify or I can change the tone of voice. So I actually find this is more useful than the other part of the AI for copywriting. So I can just again hit one of the buttons, hit extend and it will give me the next paragraph. Um, and then I could just leave that as my next paragraph if I wanted to. So that's how you can use the AI. Go through, as I said, it will do bullet points. It will do all sorts of things for you. So I just suggest you go through, get the free trial, test it out, and see um, if it's something that you feel like it's worth paying for. In the next video, we're going to go through the AI writer. Sorry, the AI image creator. So if you're interested in seeing if this is going to produce images that you can use within your newsletter, subscribe to the channel, turn those notifications on, and you'll be able to watch that video. See you in the next one.